and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Timo Caitlin Byrne. All right, so this one's going to be a little janky. It's either going to work really well or fail spectacularly. Who knows? Let's go ahead and see what it's going to do. All right, the thinking here is uh, we're going to put three Timos in here and one Caitlyn. And the only re real reason why we're playing Caitlyn is so that we look like we're a Timo Caitlyn regular control deck with Noxus, where we are trying to play Puffcat Peddler and Ravenous Flock and Arachnoid Sentry and just have like our Flash Bomb traps do damage to their stuff and then, you know, then use like a Ravenous Flock and um, Scorched Earth to finish them off the things that take the, the little bit of damage and that kind of stuff and be, you know, like the regular mid range slash control deck with these regions, maybe like Karina at the top end, that kind of stuff. Right. So that's what the opponent's going to think that we are. Hopefully. Instead, we are just going to be a regular old uh, Piltoverns on Noxus burn, like just kind of like OG burn deck uh, from back in the day, like where you're just playing, you know, Mystic Shot, get excited, all these Noxus units and attacking, um, you know, we'll have Decimate, Fervor, Captain Farron, crowd favorite, right? Lots of the old favorites in this style of deck. Um, and just, you know, hopefully they don't really realize that that's what we're going to be doing. And so they mulligan thinking that they want to find, uh, you know, like units that have like a lot of health and, and they can stay alive and, uh, you know, interaction for Caitlyn and Puffcat Peddler and that kind of stuff. And then we run them over. That, that's what we're going to try to do. Uh, so let's go ahead and give it a try. Teemo, Caitlyn, Burn. The old bait and switch, right? Like whenever, because, you know, you get to see what regions your opponent's playing, what champions your opponent's playing. And so <laughs> we'll see how this does. They see Teemo, Caitlyn. But we're actually a burn deck. All right, so Poppy Zed... Um, you know, maybe they look for, like, Ranger's Resolve more than normal. But, like, Poppy Zed is the kind of deck... I'll just keep Trips 1-drop and a 2-drop. That they're, like, an aggro deck. So this, this game plan doesn't work as well against aggro when the aggro decks just want to find, like, their regular normal game plan anyway. But maybe they mulligan, like, I don't know, Greenglade Duo or things like that more that they, they think they can die really easily. We'll have to see. So the card they kept was the first card. They mulligan the rest. Two, three, four. Never know what hit okay. We'll get him with Teemo. Teemo's Prismatic, which actually means that it's unblockable. I don't know if y'all knew that, but uh, if you get a Prismatic Teemo, it, they're not allowed to block it anymore. It's against the rules. Okay, may not be telling the truth there. All right, no Rangers resolve, at least not yet. The main question is play Ballista or attack. Um, they don't love blocking, right? Let's go and play Ballista. Yeah, because like, do they really want to block with Zed? Probably not. Awesome. So just got four more points of damage in. So they're currently at. Um, sure, whatevs. So this is three, four, five, six, seven direct damage. The order rewards its faithful. That's a good card for them to draw to get just another blocker. Because shooting a blocker allows us to, you know, because the, the, the two two ones are going to block the two three twos, right? Like, that's that's going to happen. So getting rid of one of these means they don't get to block a three two. And that's true. We could actually kind of play under Nopify a little bit there. Yeah, good job, Teemo. Even in death, you're still the hero, Teemo. Take seven. Whoa! Y'all, get some hype in the chat for my favorite streamer, Saucy Mailman. What's up? 
Yo, Saucy, what's up? Thanks so much for that that uh, resub there. Anybody in the chat that doesn't know about Saucy Mailman, A, you're doing it wrong. B, you should definitely go follow him. Saucy Mailman's like me at streaming if I was good at streaming, basically. All right, and that will do. We'll get that burn damage in. And we are 1 and 0. Oh. Because, <laughs> yeah, Deep Rock has the new, like, Season 1. I don't know if you saw that. Like, that's, like, a new thing that just started up this month. That looks really cool where there's, like, a season pass where you earn cosmetics, but it's free for everybody. That's awesome. All right, so we got Darkness here. We're going to keep 1 drop, 1 drop, 2. We'll send the Get Excited back. Get Excited is, like, a good spell to finish the game out, but having to discard a card is a pretty big drawback for our deck we, we don't really have cards we necessarily want to discard but in the end of the game in the late game we don't mind discarding like an extra one drop that wouldn't be able to do much damage anymore okay so they didn't have a one mana one one that's very good yeah so you just got deep rock dude it's so good that's my, that's my favorite just dwarves in space and darkness. You just let me know whenever you want to play. I'm down. Okay, so now we can either play Caitlyn or Teemo and Legion Saboteur. We can also just open attack, but I think Caitlyn's the way to go. Not by a long shot. We only have the one Caitlyn in the deck, right? Like, we're not actually a Teemo Caitlyn deck. We're just... But they don't know that. Let's investigate. Okay, I'll just attack there, because because we do have the crowd favorite. I could see using an aftershock to kill this catalyzer. Ooh, or a mystic shot to kill the catalyzer. A Mystic Shot actually looks kind of spicy right here. Get to play that and Teemo and Saboteur. Shadow Isles control decks have long been the bane of burn decks with having uh, cheap interaction and Nexus healing interaction. Like Vile Feast is always good against these burn decks. This 3-4 is really annoying. It will be an upset if we win this game from here. They've had a really good quality hand um, of like good early interaction. Then this 3-4 is a great blocker. It will be a pretty big upset if we win this game. Alright, so we're going to Mystic Shot here. I am hoping one Flash Bomb is on the top card. They've already drawn two cards since we Flash Bombed. So I'm really hoping they get one, and then this is just a 3-3, three, three, and that makes my attack with the Caitlyn much better. Oh, yeah, the Withering Mist. Don't even remind me about that card. Ah, they did not. All right, so this would be plus, th plus three, plus three, so five, four. All right, I mean, it's not getting... It's only getting worse from here. Look at that. Give me your valley's creatures of doom! Hopeless, honestly. Alright, good card for them to have another catalyzer. So double catalyzer, double two mana deal one. Triple two mana deal one. Yeah. Oh, they still missed. They drawn four cards and no flash bombs from my first two that I planted. Finally. Well, that would have been much better if that was the card before, and then our Caitlyn would have stayed alive. But I imagine this is over. But we'll play it out. You never know. We could steal the game. Because if for some reason they don't have any Nexus healing, then we could be in business. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. Maybe. Oh, wait. This is Conchologist. I was thinking this was... Yeah, that was the card I was thinking it was, was the Acolyte.
We could draw some Decimates. We do have two Captain Farons in the deck for this kind of matchup. Whenever they're killing all of their stuff. We do have two, two Captain Farons. Alright, being patient on the Ballista paid off. Crawling Sensation. What? Oh, the thing died from the... Right, right, from the Flash Bomb. Do I trade with the 5-1? No, I don't care about 4 damage. Force them to use, you know, either take overwhelm damage or use a removal spell. They did have. Huh. Guess I'm the big guns yeah, they've had a good hand. Okay. Here comes Piltover's finest. <laughs> oh, stop. They still. So that's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. They still have to have a target for this, right? Like, you know, like, this does damage to the enemy Nexus, but they still have to be able to target an enemy. I I think. I don't think they can just target the Nexus with that. Alright, cool. Sounds good, Saucy. Take care. Alright, let's go, Captain Farron. End this. It's gonna end this one way or another. Either they win or I win. One way or another. One way or another. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. <laughs> yeah, Twisted Gangplank was was pretty good. Wondrous discoveries await below. Come on, take two. Because even if they block with the seven six, they still take two. And then they will get excited. Oh, they just have, like, Pokey Stick. No, they're not. Nope. They don't have anything. They don't have any Nexus healing. They don't. They can't make it a 1-6. They can't do anything. They got nothing. Nope. Nothing. Just a... No! Vile Feast! Oh. You deserve more. So close. Yeah, we're going to need to draw a burn spell, which I don't have very much burn, burn left in the deck. I, so I basically have three spells that can win us the game, three out of 27. I think I have two more Mystic Shots and one more Get Excited. And I think that's it. Because Fervor doesn't do it, Decimate's too slow. So we got three cards out of 27 that we could draw. Maybe they develop. <laughs> Come on, Mystic Shot. Get excited. Mystic Shot. No. Develop. Develop. Play something. Play something. Come on, play something. Ah, they figured it out. That Vile Feast won live. So yeah, they just... They had triple Vile Feast. Okay, we got Timo... Elise Callista. So they also burn deck? Burn v burn? The burning? Burn v burn. The burning. Alright, so let's go Precious Pet. So that made Saboteur kind of useless. For now. Nothing like the great outdoors. Bum, bum. All right, what do y'all think? Do we play Saboteur to do one damage to them? 
and trade with half of an hapless aristocrat. I don't know. I don't love it. The reason to not play it, the reason to keep it in hand would be, you know, maybe a get excited or, I don't know, something else comes up. Like a get excited. Alright, we aftershock this Callista or attack. So I attack with both. They block by 2 1. They take 4. What if I aftershock? What are they going to do? They could play like the Shadow Isles Allegiance, get a 4 3 and a 2 2. If I attack out and they block the 2-1, they take 4, and then I have 8 points of damage. That is 12, which would put them down to 6, like, total, when you're just kind of counting things up. But, cool. I, I liked this line better. And I think that line worked out pretty good. Lady Elise. Lady Elise. It'll be over soon. I guess the saboteur is worse than this, or the uh, sorry, the rear guard is worse than the saboteur because the saboteur is at least going to do one damage. Everyone's a garden. Gross. So, game plan is Captain Farron. So if we use all these cards, they kill like two of my things. Like these two. I guess maybe I should have shot at one of these. And then, no, because I just keep like Ballista alive. Timing is everything. Okay. So basically, they're ahead because they have two cards, I have one, but we're both a really long ways away from winning the game, and I'm sitting with a Captain Farron, and if we're going to play a long game, I'm happy to have a Captain Farron. Alright, so those, those two just trade, and yeah, like, like hapless aristocrats aren't going to kill us. Sure. Not so sure. Not so sure. Never mind. Alright, so two, four, six, eight. We're taking eight down to ten. I must get out of here. A three mana spell would be really nice. It would just kill this Phantom Prankster here. Thank you. You have to get me out of here! But then again, this puts them down to seven. Uh, maybe I don't actually kill the Phantom Prankster. I think we can we can deal with that. Cause they're at seven. I don't know why I would play this. I feel like this could be a mistake. Okay. Because I could just go to attack and like force them to do something first and then I respond with the get excited. Like I, I probably shouldn't be just tapping under get excited for no reason. I could just like play the Teemo and then go to attack. Oh well. We were good. Good job, Captain Farron. Alright, action sever. Can we outrace Action Sivir? Maybe, maybe not. Mystic Shot good against Action. So Pet on one, House Spider on two, Grenadier on three. Well, then here's like an obvious Mulligan. Maybe the Grenadier, but like Grenadier is fine. I think I'm, I think I'm okay with this. Ones and twos are good. It's a lot of twos. There we go. Getting another one's nice. So like round three, we get to double spell. 
So that's the thing. You want it, with its aggro decks like this, you want to be able to double spell as early as possible. Cool. I don't need rules to know good from bad. Hmm. Good play by them. I suppose I should have just saved my Mystic Shot to mana. Yeah, I definitely, feel, definitely wish I would have just played Grenadier. All right, so send this in. 2-1 blocks 3-2. They take 4. Yeah, probably, probably would have. Find your own. Yep, 2-1 blocks 3-2, and they take 4. That was action was really good. Man, that palace is already at three, and they just played action like Honor just the round before. Chill. Coming in hot. It's a living. All right. Well, they have both champions. Good hand having both champions. I've got your back. At any cost. Make it worth my Doesn't look time. like we're winning this. But we'll see. That's all. Nothing personal. It hasn't looked like we're winning some of these other games, too. <laughs> so down to seven. No pup caps. I ran as fast as I could. Yeah, Rary, it says you hit level 15 in the weekly chest, but instead of level 16, it says plus one. It means you would get one additional um, capsule. After level 13, you just continually to gain additional capsules at capsules after that so level 14 15 16 all those are just an additional capsule and the, the capsules i believe are like an epic two rares and two commons i believe greed will turn any man into a monster danger pays So go down to three. Or do they just want to pass? Gotta find a gift for an action, right, Arda? No, nah, yeah. Whenever people pass like that, it's always Merciless Hunter. Whoa, I was like... Oh, am I sneaking another point across? We just top deck Decimate. We haven't drawn Decimate all day. Darn. A nice draw one right there. Yeah, that Merciless Hunter hurt. That was the card they found with the Predict draw. That was a really good action. That You know, round two, I really wish I would have just saved my... You know, they passed. I really wish I would have just also passed. And just kept the Mystic Shot, and then that would have slowed their um, Warlord's Palace down around. All that. So I don't have, don't have much. Miss, not by a long shot. That does that. I was hoping they were going to kind of pass priority, and I was going to be able to pass priority again and uh, everything, but 
Really good hand. Both champions immediately. That's what it takes to, to beat a burn deck. You have to have a hand like that. Alright, and Lurkers. I feel pretty good against Lurkers. Well, you know, never know, but I'll be surprised if we lose to Lurkers. Start by having some mulligans, though. Yeah, <laughs> Decimate. Couldn't, couldn't have you last game. If our get excited was a Decimate. Or the Aftershock, if either one was a Decimate. Alright, let's start with the 3 2. It just attacks for more. Oh, man. Good card for them. I was thinking they'd have, like, you know, one mana 1 1, like the Lurk units. Oh, took it. They really want to attack. They just took it. I think if I would have just held my two mana that last game, I think we would have won that. Oh, I should I should block with the last breath. Or sorry, so far with the uh, vulnerable. Find your own. Okay, they trade with the vulnerable anyway, so we're good. Done yet. All right, so these crowd favorites don't look so good. I'll still be uh, three twos. I stand for Noxus. Still just trades with the Zerus I call her. I am surprised they attacked with that, but. So I don't want them to play like the five mana, like six health thing. I don't want them to play something like that. All right, so down to ten. I'll just pass. Hey, DVZR, what's up? What's up? So all right, so it looked like they they definitely have like Pike, right? Like they have Pike spell. Yeah, so they they would have played that if I would have just decimated last round. Question: Hey man, is there vi viable decks with Echo apart from Echo Zillion? I think there are. I definitely play against other Echo decks, but I can't think of what they are. I'm sure chat chat can probably help out. Yeah, they definitely got Pike Spell. Seven, eight. Okay. So I have exactly enough for Decimate plus get excited. I'll do better this time. All right, used for their mana there. All right, Rose is, yeah, Echo Action. Yeah, that, yeah, I like Echo Action, and then Echo Sivir, and Echo Vi. All with Shurima. Those all sound like pretty good options. All right, now we just burn them down. <gasps> Why didn't I leave that card? Ooh, that was close. That was close. But we still get to respond. Whew, okay. That got a little scary. We'll take it. Three and two. G and G. All right, so there we go. Another winning record there with Timo, Caitlin, Byrne. Um, I was pretty impressed with that. I think it, I think it worked really well. I think it did exactly what we were trying to do, right? Make them think that we were a Timo, Caitlin deck and then suddenly burn them out. I wasn't like super impressed with the crowd favorite. That was like kind of like one of the last cards when I was like just trying to, you know, fill out the 40. Um, yeah, I don't love it. It was it was okay. There's times like where it was below average, time that was above average. Uh, if you got something else that you want to play in that spot, 
feel free. I, I don't know. I don't like use cast salesman or I don't know. Maybe just play Aloof Travelers in here. Who knows? Even though it's a burn deck, uh, maybe, maybe not Aloof Travelers. I don't know. If you if you have something you want to play, feel free to go ahead and uh, try it out. Um, but, you know, it was all right. It was all right. Besides that, I think everything else worked pretty well. And I was very happy with everything else. Just, you know, getting Mystic Shot, get excited, um, all that kind of stuff. Get all that Nexus damage in after the aggro start. Good little deck here. So that's going to be Teemo, Caitlin, Burn. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments and uh, let me know how you like the deck. If you try it out yourself, how does it go? If you have any good ideas for any upgrades over the crowd favorite, let us know over in the comment section so other people can try that out as well. But um, that's it for this one. So as always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you for the next video.